Ancient spirits of evil, transform this decay form to Mumra the Ever- <laughs> Nom nom, ew, tastes like old toilet paper, om nom nom. Good job, Snarf, you're better than a Pikachu any day. Love you, kids. It's time for you. What up big kids, here's your big review of the Thundercats 2011 Thunder Tank and Thunder Racers with Lino and Tigra. For the Thunder Racer packaging, it has these nice little window boxes that can connect to the Thunder Tank. It has a Lino figure, as you can see here, activates uh, drill, as well as with the Tigra one. And you can see here, their, uh, one is made for the right on the back of each packaging, just shows that they connect to the Thunder Tank, as well as the other vehicles uh, you can see here. Uh, pretty cool that uh, it connects to the Thunder Tank, which I'll show here later. The Thunder Tank packaging is very nice. has a really cool picture of the Thunder Tank, which we'll see soon on cartoon. If you guys haven't seen the cartoon, it's amazing! Exclusive Snarf! Oh, I thought that was a Pokemon. No, he's so adorable. Uh, and you can see here the Thunder Tank launches. Uh, very cool. Also has lights and sound. This takes two AAA batteries, so make sure you get it because uh, that's included. Also advertise other uh, toys like the Claw Shield, Sword Elements, and Deluxe Sword Elements, which I also have. has this other thing where you de download the Snap Tag and you'll get something. I know it's really weird. Uh, it also has, shows the Thunder Racers too and the Lizard Cannon. On the back of the box shows that it combines with the Thunder Racers. Uh, it activates lights and sounds. Uh, shows Snarf uh, driving. I didn't know Snarf could drive, but apparently he can. And also shows other things like the tower room and placelets plus the other figures. Alright guys, let's open up the Thunder Tank and Racers. Ho! So let's start with the figures that come with the Thunder Racer. We got the Lino here. Has a cool head sculpt. Uh, I like the eyes. Um, just basically solid colors. Has the Thundercat symbol right there. Compared to the regular 4-inch figures, it, this, these ones aren't as articulated and they're slightly smaller. Well, not, not that much smaller, but they're made to fit easier in the Thunder Tank, um, a Thunder racers they have the little magnet thunder uh, links uh, technology you'll see here. Tigra is basically wearing the same outfit as Lino just with some green and some blues the head sculpt is very nice like I said just mainly solid colors but I like his tiger stripes his uh, Thundercats outfit the feet here you know uh, compared to Lino see compared to his regular figure yeah he's also less articulated and uh, wearing a different outfit but yeah, like I said, this is uh, comes with the Thunder Racer, just made to fit easier. Articulation, both figures have the same. The heads can rotate, kind of go up and down, but not really. Arms rotate, wrists rotate, uh, no waist articulation, legs go forward and back, uh, bend at the knee, uh, no uh, ankle or um, uh, articulation. So Tiger is the same, head rotates, arms rotate, wrists rotate, legs go forward and back, bend at the knee. But yeah, so they're less articulated than the uh, main ones. Now let's look at the Thunder Racer. Uh, they have this really cool like Cat Slayer cat uh, uh, right there. Uh, Tigris has this little laser light, which these parts can be put on either side right here. They have, sorry, they have a little slot right here so you can place on either side of the Thunder. It's made to do it so uh, depending on which one you get, you can put on either side of the Thunder Tank. It has this clear little uh, opening cockpit. As you can see here, looking there, you know, it's basically kind of like one of the Tron light cycles in a way. Linos is basically the same one except with a little drill right here that shoots a missile. But yeah, as you can see here, it's the uh, exact same. What's cool about these, of course, you can fit your little guys in here. These will fit the regular like Lino or Tigra if you want to or any Thundercats figure. And it has their little Thunder Lynx part which we'll put in there. So let's put in the regular one. So here's the thing. So you see this little drill right here? It has a little button on the back right here. If you try to press it, nothing happens, right? Now when you push, put in Lino, Let's place them in here and we line this up right with the little magnet. Now when you push the button, it shoots out. So that's really cool that it only activates when they're thunder links and it has little handles here to place um, for their hands. Same with Tigra, uh, you can see here it has a little laser light, the button right here, placed right there uh, so it won't work but once you put in your Tigra right in here, so line it up with the thunder links uh, so it's line this part with that part right there. When you press that same button right there, it has a little laser light. Pretty cool. I really like that. So that's for the Thunder uh, Racer. Before we go on to the Thunder Tank, let's look at its included figure. Snarf! Oh, He really does look like a, a Pokemon. It's so adorable. The paint on there is pretty good. It's solid colors. Yeah, it's a little magnet Thunderling thing on the back here. So, you know, he's 
really cute. Pairing this to my old school Snarf, you can see the I prefer the new Snarf. Not only does, is he not annoying, but he's so much cuter. Snarf has a little bit of articulation. His head doesn't move at all, uh, sadly, but his arms do move a little bit. You know, just not, not that much. Same with his other legs, or he does have legs. His tail, can't you can move it around if you want to. Uh, I don't know, it kind of moves, but uh, not really. So he does have a little bit of articulation. Now let's look into the Thunder Tank. Oh yeah. The updated Thunder Tank is a lot more blue than the original one, which I'll compare it to, but it, this one looks really cool. Uh, it, it definitely, you know, it's very sleek, it's very menacing looking. What's cool about here, you can actually open this up, and you can see here more of the cockpit has little controls right there, which is very nice. The seat, this is where the little Thunder Links uh, will activate with each figure, so you can place in there, but um, overall, has these little um, bike things that you'll see here. And it actually has some articulation uh, with the little claws that the original one had. You can actually put this up so it can stay up, which is very cool. And you can have it where the claws are out or not out. Um, it's very cool. So it has tons of uh, different ways you can pose this, which is just so cool. And of course it has the uh, tank tre uh, thre treads. I can't even say that right. Again has a little um, tail lights back there. Uh, it's The plastic is pretty shimmery, which is also cool. has little fins right there. So overall, it just looks pretty badass. The Thunder Tank has a couple awesome features. Uh, it has, with, with this little uh, part in the back here, you take your little Thundercat figures with the Thunderlink magnets here and you place it right here and it opens up a little secret compartment. You can store extra weapons or anything, or you can place Snarf in here the right along. Actually not that Snarf, this Snarf I want to put in there. Even bad. Place you in here, Snarf, I don't like you. And the Thunder Tank has lights and sounds. Now you pull the back, this little lever right here, and, or push it down, it has a little, you know, firing sounds, which is very cool. It's really cool. You can take um, any of your Thundercat figures, let's take the Include Snarf in here, line up the Thunderlink magnets here, place them in here, and... Thunder Tank Activate! I'll say Thunder Tank Activate and lights up. It's really cool now when you press that same lever. Thunder Tank Fire! So it's cool having the figure here will change the saying that Thunder Tank uh, Fire. Each side of the Thunder Tank has these little wheel bike things and what you do you actually pull up the little fin right here and you can actually fire both of them. I'm gonna lift up both of them so both up and you hit the buttons right here and, and I'll say so I'll say Thunder Tank launch and it'll uh, you know make these little launching sounds so You can take your Thunder Racers and you can actually attach it to this little part, to this little part here. You would just simply slip it in. Same thing you would do with the Thunder Tank bikes, or Thunder, uh, just the one that included Thunder Tank bikes. And then you would just simply put it, slide it into here. Now you have a super massive Thunder Tank that can fit three of your Thundercat figures. Or you can have Snarf drive in and look adorable while looking super menacing. And what's cool, you can still uh, shoot Lino or Tiger or anyone that's riding in the Thunder Racer. You can shoot them out. So very cool. I want to drive the Thunder Tank. No, I'm driving the Thunder Tank. I'm lower than the Thundercats. Well, I'm older and better than you. Well, I'm <laughs> Snarf, get out of the Thunder Tank or you're getting no anchovy pizza tonight. No, wait, no, no bets! Guys, uh, comparison time. So here you can see the new Thunder Tank with the Thunder Racers is a little wider than the original Thunder Tank, but um, of course with the Thunder by uh, Racers added on to it, but the original Thunder Tank is taller and um, of course it's made more for six inch figures. It's not, that one's not to scale and this one's not to scale, but you can see here uh, how much um, you know, the new, uh, the old Thunder Tank is a little bit um, longer, uh, but the new one's a little wider with the Thunder the Racers, and you can see how much bigger they are. Now the new Thunder Tank is awesome. One thing that this one has uh, that the old one doesn't is lights and sounds. Now I'm a sucker for lights and sounds. Now of course, it'd be cool if it had a pop out, like, you know, gun and, you know, that uh, had the kind of chomping action like the old one had, 
But this one is still great. I love the articulated arms right here. I love that the Thunder Racer is attached to make it bigger. I love you get an adorable snark. For 30 bucks, I think this is great. The fact that it has lights and sounds, a little snark figure, um, and it's pretty big and it, you know, it can fit any of your Thundercat figures or any 33 4 inch figure. Um, I think Thundercat fans will love this. You know, a great deal for a Thunder Tank and you know, use it. I think it's just awesome. For more geek news, reviews, and more, check out BKBN.net. I'm Sean Long, and remember to celebrate your nanum in a big way. In brightest day, in blackest night. Urban Collector is tight. If you like superhero video game, movie, action figures, replicas, t-shirts, and more, check out Urban Collector. They take all credit cards and PayPal, plus do pre-orders with urban-collector.com. You don't need a power ring to be a superhero, but I think they sell them too. Awesome! I know, are you sure about this? Yeah, Tigra. Snarf said he went to the best driving school in Thundera. <laughs> Wait, you said Toons the driving cat taught you how to drive? Wait, Snarf! Snarf, Snarf! Watch out for that! <laughs>